our research team uh, uh, has been investigating hydroxylation inhibitors in ovarian cancer for two decades. And this project took place over the last two years. And largely, uh, the, the young adults here were involved in this research because of COVID. Uh, they were less than thrilled with their virtual learning and even less than thr thrilled with being sequestered with their parents. And uh, the Sanda family was part of our COVID bubble, and we decided to introduce them to research and get them involved in this research. And because of the pandemic, they weren't allowed to be on site, so we held pipetting parties at the kitchen table. We met twice a week for the past two years on Thursdays by Zoom and Saturdays after dinner together. So it gave us a chance to be social. And they learned about cancer biology and genetics, medical ethics, safety protocols in the lab, um, pipetting. Uh, they helped put the poster together. They came up with an idea to 3D print the relevant molecule, which was their contribution. Uh, they helped put the poster together uh, and some of the graphics. and. Uh, learned how to present, so they got a chance to see how gynecologic oncology really is bench to bedside and how science can affect an individual. In cancer cells, what we've observed is that they're unable to scale back their production of fibrillin. This unfolded fibrillin accumulates in the endoplasmic reticulum and it causes the cells to commit apoptosis. Whereas in healthy established fibroblast lines, they're able to scale back their production of fibrillin and they do not commit apoptosis. So in conclusion, what we've discovered is an FDA approved drug that kills cancer cells but leaves normal cells unscathed. So we've seen a pretty similar pattern of what Isabel has said here on C1Q. So C1Q is a protein that's part of the immune system and allows cancer cells to escape from the immune system. So potentially with this drug, it actually allows cancer cells to recognize that um, it allows uh, cancer cells to be recognized by the immune system and it allows the, the accumulation of the misfolded C1Q in the endoplasmic reticulum, causing cancer cells to kill themselves while normal cells are ultimately unaffected. And so the next step really for this would be uh, perhaps a clinical trial. So. Um, we hope then to see similar conditions occurring in patients in the complex system that is the human body as was seen in Petri dishes. Just to show students, especially at the high school level, that science is nothing but taking bites of the elephant to get the job done. And I think that's what these girls learned uh, during this process. Um, the other part was showing how a life of service is in whatever capacity is meaningful and good. And that was our purpose.